Hello everyone, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. This morning I wanted to get started uh, on a bit of a bit of a session today. Um, I wanted to follow up from yesterday's reading where I saw that uh, potentially something Moolah might be coming forward with something. But that's that's one thing. The other thing that's in the back of my mind, of course, is the shutdown and also the executive powers. So I think it was last week I, I thought Trump might be looking at drawing money from other departments. Um, so if he's not satisfied with the offer, as we know, Congress has been working together to put uh, the Democrats and the Republicans to put together a uh, a, a, a funding uh, bill, uh, which of course looks like it's going to be passed um, by the House and the Senate, and then it goes to to Trump for signage. Now, we've already had Fox News' Sean Hannity saying, I think that offer was one point something billion dollars for um, for offence or whatever you like to call it. Um, and Hannity said that's an insult and shame on the Republicans, yada, yada, yada. So Trump's being again put on the spot. However, I want to look at this a little bit differently today. I also want to ask, is Vladimir Putin directing Trump on the wall and the shutdown? Um, because I think that that we need to go beyond the surface level of this uh, and see if there is anything uh, sinister in the way that the wall and the government shutdown is actually being used. But let's look at... Um, Let's look at Mueller. Is he likely to indict this week? Because we know that it most likely would be Don Jr. That possibly is the next indictment. Uh, and of course, if that happens, then uh, we've got uh, Trump, Trump an enemy, if you like. We've got tr Trump the father, vindictive, um, really becomes an enemy there. So let's have a look. Is Mueller, Robert Mueller going to indict this week? Is Robert Mueller going to indict? This week, Robert Mueller going to indict this week. I'm getting a feeling we need to go also to Southern District of New York. So let's have it. Let's just start with with Mueller. Is Robert Mueller likely to indict this week? Okay. So we've got the page of cups. We've got something coming forward, which was what I saw in yesterday's reading. Um, now the page, as I said, it's not the king, it's not the knight. So it may be something Don Jr. potentially is can be referred to as a page. So this could be around uh, Trump's children, um, as well as, uh, as I said, it's not the main game this week, but it could be something. It's around money here. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles coming forward. Uh, this is really around the family money, uh, but it's also... Um, you know how the family money is supported so potentially we could be looking at um at Mueller coming forward with something but let's just keep going we've got the wheel of karma here something is changing we've got some kind of karmic happening um we've got the two of cups so the relationships between uh potentially between the trump organization and others relationships we've got coming forward uh, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So it, again, this money, a money. It's around the the money. Um, this is financial resources. How one gets uh, one's financial resources to ensure stability and security. We've got the Six of Cups. So this is going back uh, a little bit of a way here. This is going. This is the card of the past. Uh, so it is uh, really nostalgia. It's around also gifts. Um, and 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 I guess relationships, uh, the bonds that tie us together. So really, we're looking at some kind of karmic um, inspired uh, event this week. Um, potentially not for the good. Um, and I'm drawing the Six of Wands, which is the victory card. Okay, now this reading reading's making sense. This reading is saying there could be an indictment this week uh, coming down from Mueller, potentially for Don Jr. or one or one or more of Trump's children. Uh, it is related to the Trump organisation uh, and and the how that those financial resources were obtained. It's also related to how uh, to the relationships or partnerships um, that that 
were um, relevant to the to the to the finance to the accumulation of the finances. It's going back some time, so we've got the card of nostalgia. But it's also but what is really significant here is, in for me anyway. I don't know if it is for you viewers. The car, wheel of fortune is turning here, and it's turning toward victory. Now it's turning toward victory for whom? It's turning toward victory for Robert Muller. Um, so and it's and and there's a karmic aspect here to this uh, to this reading. So these cards are showing there could well be, maybe, possibly, <laughs> because you know I'm not always right. Um, but uh, but I read for you and I have to read the cards the way they, they come out to me. And it is looking possible there may be an indictment of Trump's children this week. Uh, and it is related to the business of the Trump organisation. And it's related to money and partnerships. So our next question, if that's the case, we've got the shutdown looming. What is Trump likely to do? What is Trump likely to do? Okay, so will Trump shut down the government again? Because if he is in that kind of frame of mind, then what, what possibly could he do? Of course, he said he's not going to. So we probably, well, I was going to say take him at face value, but you really can't, can you? Is Donald Trump likely to shut down the government this week? Again, my feeling is, let's have a look. Is Donald Trump likely? Okay, we've got the sword of truth hanging over him. That's the image that's coming forward um, in this matter. Will Donald Trump shut down the government this week? Will Donald Trump shut down the government? Oops. Donald Trump shut down the government this week. Okay. So I'm getting, uh, well, you, if you follow my readings, you know that the moon for me is really secrets and secret, something being hidden. Of course, we've got that dark pond, but it, in, in latter weeks, it, it can also point to some kind of treachery. Um, we've got the eight of cups here. We've got this loss uh, and uh, I, I guess withdrawal, retreat, um, but but it is abandonment or really um so we've got secrets we've got a uh, loss and abandonment uh and we've got the nine of cups now um this uh for me uh when i'm reading on trump signifies the arrogance um of donald trump it also signifies the lack of donald trump because this uh nine of cups uh is referred to as as wishes coming true uh, abundance um and things going right um and and really we've seen right throughout donald trump's why did new york's uh you know why was he untouchable in New York? Why wasn't he brought to, um, to you know, to, uh, I guess, before the law, before this? Why did he? It end up that he was allowed to be the president when this money, you know, money laundering, um, the way that he did his real estate deals uh, have been known for quite some time. Uh, we've had building contractors not paid. We've had. Um, his father bailing him out after he went bankrupt. We've had him defaulting on the loans, bankrupt multiple times. But yet he still became the president of the United States. So often I see this card as Donald Trump uh, and the wish card. But there's some sort of loss here for Donald Trump. That's what this is saying. We've got the Knight of Wands. It's really, this is around inspired action. Um, and, you know, really around passion and we've got the treachery, the passion around the treachery. Now, my, my first inclination when I started this was vindictiveness. Um, is, that what, is that what's going to happen? Now, the loss here, uh, we've got the sun card. Um, often uh, the sun card is a big yes. Um, but it's mirroring the eight of cups, which is the abandonment card. So... In this sense, um, I'm kind of deepening the reading and, and saying that there's a lot of emotions related to what is occurring in Donald Trump's head at this point of time. He sees things as winning and losing. 
Um, and when he, he doesn't win at first, he may do something that he thinks will give him a win. And this has worked in the past in the, in the relatively smaller world of real estate in New York. But, but it's, not, it's not going to cut it uh, as the President of the United States. We've got the page of swords again, prying open the truth in relation to uh, Donald Trump's abundance and finances. So this reading is connecting with the first reading and saying that there is something that he will do uh, that is related to uh, what may what Moolah might um, come forward with. And we've got the tower card here mirroring the, the moon, which is the secrets hidden. Something's going to come to light this week re regarding Donald Trump, um, and it is the truth. In some way, we're going to learn the truth. Um, yeah. And uh, there's going to be uh, mirroring the sun card. We're actually going. There's going to be actually celebrations. So this reading is saying that possibly he could shut down the government in direct response to what might happen to him. Um, I don't want to alarm anyone, but um, but it could be. Now, if he's not going to shut down the government, it's possible he's going to declare this national emergency that everybody thinks he's going to declare. But it seems like this is a trigger response to what's going to happen this week. So we've got to look at this week as uh, a little bit abnormal in the scheme of things. Um, I don't know what his lawyers are, are, are finding out. I don't know what communications his lawyers are having. I don't know what stage of the... Um, Mueller invest what stage the Mueller investigation is up to and what, as I said, what communications are going back and forward. But this is uh, clearly a week that is troublesome for Donald Trump. I just want to quickly, if it's not a shutdown, is he going to use his executive powers, which was my, which was my feeling. And then I want to go back to the Southern District uh, of New York because I got a bit of a hit on that when I was uh, doing that first uh, spread. So uh, shall we say, uh, will he use, uh, if he's not going to shut the, okay, will Donald Trump use his executive powers this week? Will Donald Trump use his executive, I'm thinking he possibly will, this could be what it is. Okay, so here we have this uh, wanting to change, change the way that karmic wheel is turning. We've got the Seven of Pentacles again. This is the Harvest card. Um, interesting. Um, that's how how money is made. Uh, will he use his executive powers? It could be that he will take money from other uh, government agencies, their appropriations, any underspends, as we call them in Australia, call them back uh, to increase the amount of money that he's got for the wall. There's hope here, hope. Hope, an interesting card. Hope that he will or hope that he won't. We've got the five of uh, wands here, which is, of course, as it looks like, challenges, obstacles and rivalries to Donald Trump. He wants another win. We've got the Knight of Pentacles coming forward, some kind of monetary action. And we've got the seven of wands, really, Donald Trump having to defend himself. Uh, and then we've got the magician, so he's, he's actualising... He's actualizing things. He's bringing it into reality. Sometimes this is the trickster. And we've got uh, really uh, the Ace of Cups, which is some kind of, um, I guess, new proposal coming forward. To, according to this reading, he is actually going to move toward using executive powers to get some money for that wall. Now, because the previous reading uh, indicated there was a shutdown, I'm not sure of the process to use executive powers. Does he need to shut down the government for a short while while he declares an, a, a state of national emergency? Is that how it's going to roll? That Then the, you have the declaration, then he opens the government back up. But he's going to suffice to say, you know, tarot is not precise, but I will say this, Donald Trump is going to do something this week to get money for his border wall. Uh, potentially, there could be something coming down the pike in relation to his children, which will absolutely uh, cause him to lash out, if, if you like. I just want to go back to Southern District of New York. Uh, let's just give it another shuffle um, so that we can get a, a clear... A clear reading. Um, I don't want any energies left over from the last reading to...
come into this one. It's interesting that I'm seeing cups and wands rather than, I mean, I am seeing swords in this reading, but the, uh, the wands certainly uh, indicate there's going to be some kind of passion and inspired action here. Now, we think of that in the positive, but uh, passion can also be anger as well. Uh, anger and the and the will and the motivation to do something. So um, let's have a look. Um, is it S Southern District of New York likely to come forward with something this week? Is Southern District of New York, Southern District of New York likely to come? I'm seeing some paperwork here. Uh, it's, it's it's almost like you know when they put the the uh, wanted poster up or, or some kind of declaration, civic declaration. They In the olden days, I, I call it the olden days, going back in history, they would um, nail some kind of proclamation. That's the word I'm using for, you looking for. Uh, uh, so that's what I'm seeing here. So is it Southern District of New York? Is, is Are they likely to come forward this week with something. Southern District of New York. Southern District of New York investigation into the Trump inauguration likely to come forward with something this week. Oh, I'm getting a hit on this. So the King of Pentacles, that's Donald Trump's business. Donald Trump, the businessman. We've got uh, money, how the money was made, the Eight of Pentacles. This is the work that yielded the money. We've got the dirty tricks in terms of the magician here that came forward in the last reading. We've got the Ace of Cups, some kind of uh, new proposal uh, mirroring the King of Pentacles. What sort of proposal are we likely to have seen in this investigation? We've got endings and beginnings, the world. Okay, so this is what who donated foreign, foreign countries, pay for play. Um, and we've got the having uh, the dirty tricks to having to defend themselves. Um, interesting set of cards, commerce and expansion in the three of pentacles in relation mirroring the dirty trickster. Uh, and we've got the four of cups in relation to the foreign adversaries. There's some kind of uh, disappointment uh, here as well. Could be disappointment um, that the, uh, the certain foreign countries, I know Ukraine was disappointed he didn't get to meet Trump, um, but th I think this is more than that. I think that the other aspect of the world is endings and beginnings, and we've got something small being offered to someone here, um, and, and they're disappointed with it. Okay. The Four of Pentacles, financial uh, insecurity, holding on to one's money. Um, I don't think it is the Southern District of New York, New York coming forward with something this week, though I'm seeing they're working hard here on their investigation and they're uncovering a lot. They're uncovering the money trail. They're uncovering the pay-for-play uh, aspect of the inauguration. Um, I did see that, that paperwork, though, so it could be that... that something gets delivered to Trump's lawyers. Um, I'm not sure what that might be, but it looks like something's coming forward there with Southern District of New York. May not necessarily be in the public domain that we can see, uh, but that's my feeling. And as I said, I'm not always 100% right, but I am feeling uh, I, I need to follow those uh, hits when I get them. There is something coming forward also with Southern District, may not yet be in the public domain, but they are, they've they certainly piecing the, the puzzles together. Might be a double hit for Trump this week. He might get something from Mueller and then his lawyers might get something from Southern District of New York. Now, the question here that I want to ask, uh, and this is quite a serious one, um, we know that the wall is being used for, as a distraction. We know that uh, Trump is trying to deflect away from the Mueller investigation. He's trying to rile up his base. Um, if it wasn't so serious, it would be comical. I watched some clips of his uh, uh, his latest ra rally in El, El Paso. Is that how you say it? Um, and uh, we had finished the signs, red signs saying finish the wall finish the wall 
We know he never started, so his base is falling for that. If there's one thing you have to uh, acknowledge with Trump, he is a master salesman and a master con man. And this is why he's been so hard to shift, okay? We need to acknowledge that. That's why he's been so hard to shift. Um, he's a con artist, he's a salesman. He's been lucky with his mouth uh, in getting away with things that other people wouldn't get away with. Uh, but we've got a karmic wheel turning here for him this week. Let's have a look. Is Putin uh, directing or talking to Trump in any way about the building of the wall and the shutting down of the government? Is Putin... I'm seeing figures around a table and it's like a casino wheel. It's like they're gambling, um, taking bets here. Um, gambling with what? Gambling with what is Putin behind the government shutdown or talking with Trump about the government shutdown, directing Trump on the government shutdown. Uh, is Putin directing Trump on the government shutdown or the wall? So we've got the sun and we've got illumination. Sun can often be a yes card, but we'll leave that there for the minute. Uh, and we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Uh, again, I use this de deck on this reading for a very good reason because it really hones in on the money aspect of uh, of our actions. Uh, and this is really generally my card for the Trump organisation. Um, now, we've got justice here. That's interesting. We've got justice coming forward. Major Arcana's justice. Is Putin directing on the shutdown? We've got communications, so like we're in the page of one, so likely he's talking, uh, talking to Trump about the shutdown. We've got the emperor coming forward. When we talk about Trump and uh, Putin, Trump's not the emperor in this scenario. Putin is because he controls. What does he control? He controls the money that's come through. Uh, potentially could have come through. Uh, we know the oligarchs uh, have funded many things in America, in American politics. We know that as a fact. We've got uh, celebrations coming forward here uh, and uh, that in the Four of Wands, and it's mirroring justice. So if he is talking to Trump about the shutdown, uh, then then they know about it. The, the, the law enforcement already know. We, in relation to the, the sun, we've got the, you know, the nostalgic card, the really gifts going back in the past. You know, the, the way that the Trump Foundation, Trump Organization has been funded uh, via, uh, you know, possible money laundering has been going on for quite some time. We've got the Sword of Truth coming forward, mirroring the Justice card. Um, so in some way, I asked if Putin was directing what this what this reading is is really telling me, and I have to go with the flow, right, of the cards as they come forward. This is telling me that justice will be served. The tr sword of truth is hanging right over Putin and Trump, and we've got the page of cups coming forward in relation to some kind of um, some kind of proposal that that was that Putin. Put to Trump, and we know what I mean. We know stepping ahead, we know what that proposal is. This reading is showing that Trump is uh, talking to Putin about the wall and about the shutdown. Uh, there is definitely communications going on there, um, <clears throat> but justice and the sword of truth are hanging right over those communications, which tells me that uh, law enforcement already know. So, um you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really what we know about the Trump presidency, all the things we were surprised about, trying to, to destabilise NATO, pulling out of uh, nuclear arms treaties, uh, pulling out of Syria. Um, I could go on um, taking the, the, the axe to the, to the relationship with Canada, uh, putting China, in, uh, China and the US in... Um, in, you know, I guess impacting on the, the economies of those two countries through the trade wars. Nobody does trade wars anymore. Um, interesting. We know all of that. Why, were the, why was that done? We, we sit back we st and we go, well, that, that, all those things benefited Putin. So why would this be any different? Why would this be any different if Trump indeed is... Uh, 
is talking with Putin, as we know that he's had those uh, meetings, several meetings with him without anybody there. Uh, so what's he, what's he trying to hide? So um, this is a big week, uh, a very big week, I, I feel looming. Um, so uh, potentially we might have some action on the Moolah front. We might have something come forward in relation to Don Jr. We then might have uh, Trump. Uh, I think even without anything coming forward this week, I, I, I have felt for some time now Trump will eventually use his executive powers because Mick Mulvaney, his chief of staff, his former budget director, have has been talking to agencies about what money they can free up. Um, I feel that a declaration of emergency will allow Trump to move ahead and claw back that money from other appropriations to satisfy his base and say, well, Congress only gave me one point whatever million, billion. I've got the rest. Now, will he be allowed to do that? That that will be the subject of another reading. I feel he's going to try something this week. Um, and But I also feel that uh, that the there is also healing going along, on in the background as well. I have uh, thought and read for some time the GOP is pulling away from Trump. That's being demonstrated in the co in the Congress at this particular time where we're getting the, the Democrats and the Republicans working together to avoid another shutdown. So as much as Trump is the, over there doing his... Um, his dirty tricks to stuff. We've also got what is hidden here. We've also got the King of Cups, which is a lot of healing and support. So in one way, Trump is, is, uh, is, is I guess, uh, going down a path of destabilisation, but on another, the law enforcement and the Congress us are drawing together to support one another and what this what this says to me in the longer term is that this will be the difference in whether Trump is forced out or not this healing this support going on behind the scenes will eventually be Trump's undoing. So he might do some damage in the short term but in the longer term uh his own party are already are already uh, they're they're already moving on from Donald Trump. So when you see things unfold this week, uh, when you get disappointed, uh, remember that parallel to all of Trump's um, nastiness, I guess you've got uh, some concrete examples of the Democrats and the Republicans working together. We've also got the law enforcement, the justice, the sword of truth hanging over all of this. All of this, so I, uh, you know, I would encourage you to 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 look a bit, look look more deeply because there are other things going on than just what we see with Trump. So I'll leave it there. A bit of a long video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. Um, let's see what the week brings um, as we move toward. I think it's February the fifteenth uh, when uh, that bill uh, needs, you know, needs to be signed. Um, and we'll see what Trump, the ball is in Trump's court uh, at the moment. Let's see what he does with it. Thank you, viewers.